Hi, welcome back to the channel. Here is another caravan overview. In this one, it's the 2022 Bailey Alicanto Grande Lisbon. It's an 8 foot wide caravan on a single Alco chassis. Here it is in its night mode. It's a four berth with a rear island bed and a makeup double bed at the front. And there it is in its day mode with the seating area. Like I say, it's on a it's a four berth single axle, 24.3 feet long. It's eight foot wide with an MTP LM of 1700 kilograms with an MRO of 1546 kilograms, which gives you a payload of 154 kilograms. It retails at £34,499. As you can see it here, it's the Alco chassis with Alco hitch lock with an Alco jockey wheel. Alco ATC is what you'd expect. Three front windows with that huge Bailey front window. One piece grab handles with a chrome finish. They feel like they're rubberized but it's not, it's just the type of plastic they, that they've used. It does give you a bit of grip. The obligatory barbecue points, large wet locker on the side with an electricity three pin socket to the right there. As you can see, the usual bin, nice diamond cut alloy wheels. As you see there, it's the latest um, high security lock. I, I, I touched those little uh, lettering on the side because if you remember that previous version of uh, the Valencia and Barcelona had those stick-on lettering on the front and I think it was the Series 3 and they kept falling off and you're losing the lettering so I do wonder if they're gonna stay on. Now that locker there reaches from one side all the way to the other underneath the island bed and underneath the wardrobes. Huge grab handles there, as you can see there it's 8 foot wide and I, I do like that graphic on the top there. LED lights there, um, it looks so it is on um, heavy duty stays all round. See there's that locker that goes from one side to the other. And I love the new windows, that they're really flush to the side of the caravan. Your toilet cassette and um, your flush there. Gas locker, two bottles. I did try and get into it, but trying to do that with one hand, it was, all, it was impossible. And obviously you've got your electric input and your water input. As you can see there, it's fitted with the Avtex Wi-Fi uh, receiver. I will have to do a bit of research about them because it's the first time I've seen caravans with them fitted. I must admit, I do prefer this incarnation to the previous Alacanto. As you can see, the difference from this one to the other one, this has got the, a different material on the seating area. This has got like a softer feel, whereas the one in the Porto had the um, more tougher feel to it. I felt more hard wearing to be honest. I still don't like those decorative nets hanging from the window there. Your TV aerial there and your booster. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah radio head unit there and as you can see that large bailey window usual drawers and cupboards in the center there I, I do like the wrap around seating and I do like those headrests only because I like to put my head back when I'm watching the TV plenty of locker space and as you can see there there's your router with your booster 
aerials. I do need to look up and have a little bit of research about that. I do apologise about the lighting. I forgot to bring my LED light for the top of my camera. I knew there was something I'd forget. And as you can see there, they've got the um, little splashback piece of glass there. I'm just so glad they put a little bit of trim underneath that to stop the water running underneath. So they've, they've listened to the customer's feedback there. Your yeah, Audi control panel with a couple of sockets and light switches. Stainless steel sink. And on the other side of that cover is a chopping board. Your dual fuel hob. These cupboards are quite well thought out. The one with the shelf in for tins and things. And then the one next to it is ideal for your cereals because there's no shelf. Plenty of storage. Separate oven and grill, which is always nice to see. I think it's standard nowadays. The obligatory Bailey wine rack. Cutlery drawer. And I love that. I love the soft clothes. It'd be great for Michael because he loves to slam doors shut. Spinning around now, you've got your fire and carbon monoxide alarms. Your control panel. still struggling with that chest infection. A little cubby old I would put my keys in there. It's all fridge freezer and fridge. Another locker there. Now because of the limited space there I always walk through straight through to the bedroom, come back to the, to the shower room. Socket there for a little lamp. Now, see these mirrors, I, I would prefer like an oval shaped mirror there rather than a rectangle. It, it, it would just look so much nicer, especially with these curved wardrobes. Little cubby hole for your nighttime books and phone, etc. Now, someone asked, are the lights USB? I would be very surprised if the two spotlights underneath weren't USB. I didn't look, to be perfectly honest. I'd be very surprised if they're not. Your TV points with your aerial socket and 12 volt socket and a TV wall mount as well. Sliding door to separate you from the bathroom and then there's a dual use door which blocks you off from the living room area and you can close off your toilet room as well. As you can see there's a Audi heater there Thetford flush and toilet, good size sink, and as you say, for a guy like me, it, it is a little bit small, but you know what you'd expect. It is on a single axle. Nice shower, a little bit of a mirror to so I can watch myself washing me baldy head. Always nice to see a clothes rack for drying damp clothes and what have you. Yeah, there's uh, ample space. So, there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you tune in for the next one. Until then, ta -ra.